Hello. I have, for many, many years, been interested in politics, and for various reasons. Um, one is that they have access to the public eye, if you will. People listen to them whether they have something worth saying or not. Two, they have access to the starting point of a lot of laws and a lot of policies, and I like that. Three, they get to meet people other people don't get to meet. They get to have access to things other people don't get to have access to. And I love the law. I love the letter by letter, step by step process of getting around this process and explaining this process and it's sort of just a dance of life, if you will. And the enjoyment is trying to follow each chaotic step in a way that actually makes sense and is usable. And then sharing that with others. In 2014, assuming I have the $1,800 necessary to file for um, intent to run as congressional candidate, I will do so. Um, District 3 in the state of Missouri. Um, political party, as of right now, probably Republican, simply because the Republicans tend to be more focused and they always seem to be trying to improve themselves as opposed to um, the Democrats, in my perspective, seem they are always trying to maintain this idea of superiority that they've already reached. They don't actually have a goal, they assume they've already reached that goal and there's no room for improvement. Whereas Republicans, no matter how wrong they can be, are always looking for ways to be better. I like that. Um, the Republicans seem more brainwashable while, while the Democrats seem more brainwashed. And so this maintaining of the malleability of the mind is an important aspect of the Republicans. And I'm not advocating brainwashing or manipulation, but in order to undo the brainwashing or undo the programming, they must still be workable. Democrats, it's just harder because they're more rigid and statuesque and, you know, idolatrous in their beliefs, generally speaking, in my experience. This opportunity to be a congressman will give me some experience. Um, let me know what it's like to actually participate in the system using the system in a concrete sort of way. Times are changing and it's time for something new, something different. And I have that to bring to the table. I want to work with others like me who have something different to say, who are not going to sell out, who are not going to be there for their own benefit, but the benefit of everything equally. And I think by 2014, the beginnings of that will already be able to, well, they'll be ready to be put in place. I have no certain amount of time I want to spend in Congress, only that I want to accomplish certain things. Um, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness across the board. I wouldn't be against rewriting the Constitution, just updating it mostly, um, equalizing it, incorporating the amendments, actually focusing on the letter and the spirit of the law, both together. Not trying to interpret, not trying to tell other people what it means or what it doesn't mean, or trying to limit anything, but every stroke of the pen actually opens doors. Ultimately, I want to be Secretary of State. I am not a commander-in-chief, but a diplomat-in-chief. The idea that 
as Secretary of State, I would not only get to represent each individual in the states to the President and Congress, but also to the world, and at the, in the same token, representing the world to each individual in the states. Um, having a hand in domestic and foreign policy is important to me because I like to have access to as many points as possible. I like to influence as many outcomes as I possibly can. And Secretary of State to me seems pivotal in that. I have no desire to be president, really. Um, I simply want peace.